<laughs> if you made it in, yay you. <laughs> and if I knew uh, Michael Stars was going to show up looking like Tom Selleck starring in uh -oh. Magnum P.I., <laughs> <laughs> he would have gotten his own verse. <laughs> so just a little shout out to him. Okay, here we go. It's been a long five years since I've been up here, but you asked for it, so hey, come back. Woo! <laughs> Holla! <laughs> 17 pages. So we're going to be here a bit longer, so relax and get comfy, maybe grab a snack. Let me warn you about what's about to happen. For you that haven't heard the poem before, some roasting and a decent amount of profanity. When you feel you've had enough, there will be some more. <laughs> I don't even attempt to be ladylike with my words. <laughs> I've tried before, then it just goes south. I think Cena summed it up perfectly months ago when she mentioned that I still have a filthy mouth. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not being a people person brings me much joy. I feel that sarcasm and brooding is key. In 55 years, I've never been described as positive. My poor mom still struggles to understand me. I love to roll my eyes and I live to be snarky. When calling you out, my intent to embarrass is pure. <laughs> to those of you who rat out on others around here, thanks, you made this a success for sure. You can get up and leave if you find yourself offended, but I want to make this point crystal clear. I'll see it or I'll hear about it and I'll write your name down and you'll be in the poem next year. <laughs> 2019, came in like a wrecking ball and brought a terrible storm that lasted four years. Some scrambled to apply for jobs at other places. The rest of us reported to work daily in tears. <laughs> Lots of us chose to fly under the radar, not to speak up or express any doubt. Unlike Richard Hales, who literally can't help himself and landed on the second floor in a big fat timeout. <laughs> a pandemic descended upon us, it brought sickness, unrest, contention, and ire. Just to clarify, it was called COVID, not Levitt, <laughs> but both were equally a huge dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone saved on fuel, stayed home with their laptops, fired babysitters, and caught the laundry up a bit. Well, now we can only stay home two days a week, and that's clearly not enough time to clean out the garage while on the clock. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for 2022 and a brand new election. And the big winner was our savior, Jeff Gray. COVID subsided, and even better news, the awful storm passed. And now has settled in a castle far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> constant throughout the years, which keeps us feeling that this is a safe space. Kim Nielsen doesn't contain her urge, I'm sorry, Kim Nielsen still doesn't contain her urge to prank, and Ricky will forever have tears running down her face. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Cheney is still wishing that climbing the stairs would get easier. Tina still IMs people because she loves to chat. Everyone's still afraid to approach Terry Eisel. Or is that just me? <laughs> Tim still ends every sentence with the words and stuff like that. <laughs> and if you haven't noticed that before, you will now. <laughs> Cena still gets all riled up, then apologizes later. I still have the same hairstyle from 1983. <laughs> Chelsea will always dish out the best stabbing comebacks, and we still wish Ryan would lift weights out in the open where we all can see. <laughs> Carl, too. Not me. I think you're adorable. <laughs> okay. This office is ridiculous huge these days. We just keep hiring people left and right. I don't know 95% of you, so if you say hi in passing, I'll say hi back. No clue you are, who you are, I'm just being polite. 
I have no idea what a Zachary Zendel is, <laughs> or a John Packham, Jared Quist, or Alex Westenskow. We may have met, but I still don't know your face. Please don't reintroduce yourself. I'm not going to start remembering you now. <laughs> Sturgill didn't show up, did he? No. Uh, Say whatever you want. He's not here. I'm about to. Okay. Sturgill seems to be the biggest target every year. <laughs> For the poem, so many people come to me with stuff. I had to dedicate a whole page to him, and by the sounds of it, his life is pretty rough. <laughs> First of all, maybe don't try to deceive your friend Yanelli. I realize it's legit that you broke your thumb. So you canceled fishing with Chris, but took your girlfriend instead. The pictures leaked for Chris to see, so you are pretty dumb. <laughs> Sturgill's girlfriend apparently has a famous ex, a former Utes QB and Detroit Lions player named Scott. Could Scott just lose her number already? Because it's very hard on Sturgill. It's a lot. <laughs> Sturgill can't access file line when he's out of the country, which puts a damper on his weekend travel plans every time. <laughs> when he realizes that weekends don't start on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, <laughs> then I think he should be just fine. Oh one more. <laughs> and my favorite. One more. When you screen SVU, SVU cases with Sturgill, you can say the words penis, vagina, and ejaculate. However, he cannot handle this word, butthole. <laughs> so if you could refrain from saying it, that would be great. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh wait, I almost forgot. This is actually the last burn. And for Sturgill, this is the mother of all my crops. He recently started answering his emails, so don't say what? it if you see one from him in your inbox. <laughs> Wow. Yanelli passes his sexual harassment courses every year, <laughs> and now he turns his head when others are naughty. Like the former co-worker that relentlessly tried to get nude <laughs> and show him various parts of her body. <laughs> Stay seated, you can ask him who that was later. <laughs> Did I have like, DM me. <laughs> yeah, Robin knows. I'll tell you. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make that clear. <laughs> okay, victim coordinators are fiery, mostly Sarah. She fired Rissa as a pickleball mate. Wow, that's rude. She insists on trudging through office construction areas, nailing her foot, shoe ruined, but still giving attitude. Jessica can't get enough of all the knowledge. She has mastered the Japanese language and ASL. Totally useless here. How about you learn to cover reception phones? <laughs> oh, no. She'd rather learn how to sail. Me <laughs> too, Jessica. <laughs> Vanessa's office light bulbs are burned out, or else she's a vampire. She works in the dark, no lights, blinds shut, no sign. And she brings in gallon-sized jars of ketchup and mayo for one meal. So if you run out, call her. She has enough for everyone. <laughs> it's easy to know when Haley Kay is around. She gives even Ricky competition with her laugh. She's a hard worker till her Be Real app says it's selfie time. And unfortunately, her efficiency drops by more than half. <laughs> Rissa was unaware of the correct purpose of the break room whiteboard and the names and dates on display. <laughs> Until her coworkers told her it's the office birthdays, she thought it was a list of everyone's fridge cleaning day. <laughs> <laughs> so David Brown, you're up next Tuesday. Bring your Lysol wipes. <laughs> oh, Patty, I can't believe we have to go over this. You've been here for years and you're not new. Please turn off your cell phone in court during hearings <laughs> so Judge Poland won't have to halt a jury trial because of you. <laughs> Chris Buckley wants
restaurant's lunch and Coco's restaurant better be open. <laughs> well, it wasn't, so like a maniac, she frantically knocked. <laughs> Employees inside stared as she pounded and yanked the handle violently. <laughs> Next time they see her coming, they'll make sure it's once again locked. <laughs> <laughs> I've always <clears throat> hoped Jared Perkins had some substance. <laughs> but I learned that after all this time, he does not. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> when he needs a haircut, reviews, experience, price don't matter. His only requirement is that the stylist is smoking hot. <laughs> attorneys and assistants are no joke. They get to deal with some pretty wild stuff. Jurors have screaming matches in a puppy mill trial. You would think that would be enough. But the guy that had his scooter stolen twice by the same dude <laughs> is Megan's new best friend. He always leaves her a voicemail. He likes then there's the too. chick that didn't want her boyfriend to feel alone in handcuffs, so she showed officers her boobs to get arrested and also go to jail. <laughs> I didn't hear about that one. Robin Kay oh, yeah. what just wants to get to work happy, but damn that morning traffic. <laughs> the driver that won't let her in the left lane really gets her down. <laughs> it's cool. She'll get even with them when she's with when she's next to them at the next light. But oops, she just flipped off none other than Nancy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like the most <laughs> <laughs> and it was like this. <laughs> I, was, I was telling her too close. She was not with me. Until she realized it was her husband. I got a good one, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, Nancy. <laughs> so you want to decorate your office for an upcoming holiday. Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby have things, no doubt. So you scour the stores, but there's absolutely nothing left at all. Because Kayla's already been there. And <laughs> seen the show out. Oh. That's cute. <laughs> Josh Bishop remains a mystery to me. Don't know him, and honestly, I haven't tried. Go? <laughs> I have noticed something, though, and I need answers. Why the red fleece jacket when it's 101 degrees outside? <laughs> <laughs> Is that his tabernacle choir? Jacket? While I'm on the subject of questions that need answering, here's another one for which we are at a loss. Is David Brown expecting tacos at team meetings because what other reason would there for, for him to have to bring his hot sauce? <laughs> <laughs> if you're one of the many people wondering when Ricky's going to retire, I have the answer once and for all, it's never. <laughs> and it's a good thing because no other assistant in history can handle all the murder cases at the same time, so we need her to stay forever. <laughs> if you missed your chance at getting your glamour shots done at the local mall in 1986, go sit on that hideous green chase lounge in Stephen's office <laughs> and ask him to take your pics. Oh, we're going to have to do that. Stephen keeps Alice the dummy in his office for company. That's a slightly sick and twisted equation. <laughs> But I guess if you're lonely enough and need companionship, him, Alice, and that chase lounge are the perfect combination. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one here that attempts to read Paul Wake's emails <laughs> and wonder what foreign language he's using? <laughs> and those of you who reply to him really piss me off. You're trying to look all smart, but you're just as confusing. <laughs> Ways to remember your timesheet. <laughs> Ways to remember your timesheet. Read your emails from Tammy. Read your reminder email from Chad in addition to Tammy's. Send yourself an email in addition to Chad and Tammy's. <laughs> Look at your Outlook calendar reminder event from Tammy. 
<laughs> Set an additional Outlook calendar reminder event yourselves in addition to Tammy's and highlight it in red. Listen in staff meeting for the verbal reminder from Tammy. <laughs> Listen in staff meeting for the verbal reminder from Chad in addition to Tammy's. <laughs> if Tammy isn't getting through to you, set an alarm on your phone. Set an alarm on your watch. Set an alarm on a clock. <laughs> Write it on your wall calendar. Write it on your desk calendar. Write it on your office whiteboard. No whiteboard? Write it on your window. No window? You've got walls. <laughs> Write it on your hand. <laughs> Hypnotism. It's going to be next. Have your spouse call you. Have your girlfriend or boyfriend call you. Have your kid call you. Have your mom call you. Send yourself a text. Hang a sign above your door. Ask Alexa to remind you. <laughs> Sticky notes. <laughs> you tried all these ideas but still can't remember? Hire a marching band to stomp through your office at 455 and play. Just for the love of all that is good and holy on this earth. Submit your time every other Friday. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Woo! you to think he's tough. <laughs> but he's scared of little people. <laughs> no panic. This is fantastic news we all needed to know. So I guess Christmas movies with the kids is a hard pass, even Elf, because Will Ferrell is average sized, but Peter Dinklage has a small part in the show. <laughs> I thought it was way funnier than you said. Aaron Lancaster is a great attorney, but also a kick ass legal assistant to me. <laughs> Don't ever take him away from me, don't you dare. When I receive a PSI and race to get it in Filevine under 10 seconds, I still don't beat Aaron at getting it in there. <laughs> Aaron's perfect for me. No talkie talkie, no bonding. <laughs> I just believe in that crap of getting to know you. <laughs> he should be doing my subpoenas, forfeitures, and writs anytime now. <clears throat> then I can live my life. Clock in and eight hours of Hulu. <laughs> I'll give you a little update on myself. A sightings of me are pretty rare. I don't know if anyone wants or needs to know about me, but you should know by now, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, I quit smoking. Woo! Way to go. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> learning something new, zero ambition. <laughs> All I need are the number one true loves of my life, my son and grandkids, Aww. Ricky, <laughs> and the guys in the investigations division. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, my kid, former defendant extraordinaire, who used to view going to prison as his career, is now a crew boss and team leader at the Other Side Academy, and loves it so much, he's staying an extra year. And I put that in there for bragging rights, but also, pause. I just want to remind you guys, um, keep it in, in your heads, those drug-addicted defendants. If, when they're ready to go have an interview at Tosa, tell them to go. I mean, if anybody knows my kid, Tim, Ricky, um, <laughs> extreme, extreme, and uh, I, you know, there, there was plenty of times I thought I would be burying him next to his brother, and he's a miracle. So, Tosa. That's awesome. Anyway, that's my kid. Yeah. enough about me. Could we get Haley like a huge pay raise? <laughs> she supervises 20 plus bitchy assistants <laughs> and she feels a bit smothered. 
she also draws, she always draws the short straw because even before this new conviction, she was sentenced to four years of working with Matt Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news from Sandy Ness via email. She got a Mountain Dew, but didn't know who it came from. <laughs> well, she found out who did it and updated us again via email, and we all slept better that night. <laughs> whoever's in charge of staff meeting. I don't know why this demand is so odd, <clears throat> but if I have to sit through another training meant for attorneys, I'm telling you, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a training for assistants about how to get along with others, I'll go watch Haley, Tim, and the EAP rep down in the arena, <laughs> but I'm not coming if it's not about e-filing or finding a former Lehigh cop that went to Unified so that I can send him a subpoena. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, if I'm stuck at another attorney training, I'll sit and listen and even enjoy, as long as it's McKay up front presenting. <laughs> Nobody is as entertaining as that boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to McKay, I called him a boy, but he's not. <laughs> Even though he has the energy of a toddler that's crazed. <laughs> this guy is a machine that didn't even flinch when he went to the sheriff's office and ended up getting paid. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the recording, you should. <laughs> Rochelle is going to head over to court now. She has to give someone a cross-examination. It's David Levitt. She's new and didn't know that beforehand, but it mm -hmm. should earn her an an employee of the quarter nomination. <laughs> Brooke. Brooke. Really, a two hour training before the party today? <laughs> a more appropriate day or time couldn't be done. Nothing makes me feel more holly jolly and Christmassy than being dumber than I was two hours prior. <laughs> <laughs> I hope tutoring services for the training are available in the future. If anyone can explain it to me later, I will owe them. It was up on my desktop, but I didn't listen to a word as I was too busy working on this freaking poem. <laughs> but Brooke, I actually admire you and it's nothing personal. That file line is one of many skills I'm never going to acquire. I know enough to get me through my eight hour day, and I'm totally faking the rest of it until I can retire. <laughs> Just a little peek now as to what you may see if you wander through our office's halls. Michael Stars is driving to Bucked Up for his energy drink. <laughs> Several attorneys are meeting up to go play any kind of ball. <laughs> Pete is rubbing his beard oil in. <laughs> Getting talked over by everyone in a meeting. <laughs> Misty is saying hi again because she quit, but back she came. <laughs> Wayne V is going outside for another walk. Jared Quist just closed his door, his door so that he can play a board game. <laughs> Josh is warming up his vocal cords to practice a choir song. <laughs> James Watabi is being too helpful, so calm, very complex. <laughs> Ty just came back from a trial where he was named Jesus by a juror <laughs> and is now going to babysit Judge Lund on WebEx. <laughs> Greg Johnson and Aaron Lancaster are planning a hunting trip. Ben Kearns isn't saying a word to anyone. <laughs> is sending an email about her boyfriend made of cardboard. <laughs> State 15, Irwin has said Kosovo 10 times already and would rather be in Dubai. <laughs> Laura Mendoza is way busy. So many grammar requests. Camilla is thinking about her babies, a dog and a cat. Terry Ice's own grandma got in trouble again, so she's on the phone with her having a little chat. Adam Beck's Beck? 
is at the hospital where his fifth baby boy was just born. Ben is going to England and his plane is about to take off. Paul Jones, new chief, is trying to supervise Katrina, who's running around challenging everyone to a bake-off. <laughs> Eileen is the most humble county employee of the year. Christine is annoyed with hundreds of calls for one case. But it occurs to Christine that she's admin and she can delegate and dump it. So thank goodness Marianne came back to this place. <laughs> Upstairs, Sergeant Drum is daydreaming about coffee. Carson <laughs> listens to Rich Hells discuss the upcoming election. <laughs> Tishner is telling another story that ends with, that's bullshit. <laughs> 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 and Krista is sitting back looking at these guys with love and affection. <laughs> that's a total lie. <laughs> Ryan McBride is hugging his Prosecutor of the Year award. <laughs> William reminds him that he graduated number one in his law school class. Chad is walking around all handsome, not one wrinkle in his clothes. Haley is sitting at her desk telling someone to kiss her ass. <laughs> so that's pretty much a Tuesday. <laughs> What's with all the weird eating habits around here? Raisins and peanuts are Tim's only snack. Chris Buckley always opts for the salad. McBride claims he's vegan now, but for lunch he buys a Big Mac. <laughs> and don't get me started on all the exercising. There are better things to do with your day, you know. You're missing out on feeling a soft recliner under your butt, Snickers bar in hand, and watching a nice trashy reality show. Ricky and me. <laughs> Furthermore, you can get hurt exercising, as Chad can testify. Jump squats are hazardous to your health, especially after rep number 25. You're just asking for months of recovery time like Chad did when he got dizzy, passed out, and took a leg-breaking dive. Oh, oh dear. David Brown has joined the mountain biking team. From the start, they had him in their sights. <laughs> McBride is checking his heart rate, heart rate in his work gym slash office. <laughs> and OMG, there go <laughs> and, <laughs> OMG, there goes Tim running by in his goggles and tie. <laughs> Where is Tim? Is he still here? Okay, surely I can't end this right now without a few words about County Attorney Gray. Where is Gray? Hi. <laughs> I've had a few things I've been meaning to address with him, and it looks like today is the day. <laughs> Jeff, I have a deep love for cats, and I hear you do also. I have Fiona, you have Twiggy too, and we would never do them any harm. Yet, I'm just going to need to know why, before Twiggy 2 came along, did Twiggy 1 have to go live on a farm? <laughs> serious. <laughs> you had just received your pass to park in the cage, then immediately ran into the fight zinger's car. <laughs> no damage, just knocked some of the major amount of dirt from the bumper. Two takeaways. Jeff, use your mirrors. Yeah. Justin, wiggy wash isn't that far. <laughs> Jeff, for future reference when addressing your assistants, since you mix these, mix these two up on the daily, one is Haley, she has never been Tammy. The other one is Tammy, so she's not Haley. <laughs> Command requires a beautiful mind to figure out. Is it confusing for everyone or just me? The flow chart shows I have 13 supervisors. More twists and turns than a polygamous family tree. Hard. I'd like to break this all down so you can see what I mean. Because seriously, this is what I may go through. In the event I cannot attend work one day, I present the following scenario to you. 
I'm under the weather and I need to call my immediate. Haley, got it. But she doesn't answer. So is Tammy her backup or no? Do I shoot straight up the line to Tim, Chad, or you? I'm not quite sure which direction to go. <laughs> Side note, I have Tim's number in my phone for sure, and I think there's a number in there for Chad, but I better get yours because if I'm supposed to call you and I don't have your number, that could be bad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's McBride listed to the left, but is that part of his job? I'm not even sure how he's connected. I've got to call someone to notify them that I'm sick so my employee here won't be adversely affected. <laughs> There's Jared Perkins on the right. He's in general felonies, but does he take sick leave calls? I have no clue. I don't think I can call Christine, even though she's on the list, because I don't work with sex crimes and she's strictly SVU. <laughs> While I'm thinking about it, Jared Perkins holds a general felonies meeting do I have to attend that? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got staff, team, and legal assistant meetings, so you can tell me I have to go to this one too, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the chart. <laughs> Kimberly Durfler is a no-go because I'm not a paralegal. Yanelli is over juvenile, but I'm an adult. <laughs> Paul Jones, no, he's way over on page two. So back to my chart, praying for a result. There's another admin listed. Maybe this will work. Steve Adams could possibly take my call. But can I trust that he would pass the message to Haley? Uh, I better not take that gamble at all. I'm out of higher ups and I still don't have any answers. Every name on the list is crossed off. Do I just lay in bed and hope people just know that I'm home with a sore curve? Sore throat, fever, and cough. <laughs> so, Jeff, as you can see, you've caused, caused me quite a dilemma. Wait, I think I have the answer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. He's not on the chart, but he knows Haley close enough. That's it. I'm calling Cole Christian. <laughs> <laughs> After all I've said, I'm really not disgruntled with Jeff at all. Things are going smoothly and it's been a wonderful year. Thanks for running for your position and thanks for winning as well. I think it's safe to speak for all or a few when I say we're glad you're here. <laughs> In closing, <clears throat> I hope you all enjoy your job here as much as I sincerely enjoy mine. This office is definitely my home away from home. Maybe weird, but I truly love coming to work, bottom line. I wish for all of you a holiday season and upcoming year filled with love for and from those in your fold. Filled with peace for those with ones they have lost and gratitude for the ones they can still hold. Filled with happiness you feel all the way to your core and the joy you feel from making someone's day. Filled with the strength to tackle your own challenges and empathy when someone else isn't okay. Filled with patience when you feel you have no more and the hope that the same will be given back to you. Filled with grace for yourself when things seem hopeless and the ability to expand that limited view. Filled with the enjoyment in your journey and lots of laughter after a really good cry. Filled with pride at your accomplishments and courage when you feel too scared to try. That last line does not apply to me and file mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Merry Christmas.